Hello, good morning. This is Rick Pena, and I'm bringing you today's word for August 26, 2014. If you've been following this mini series now, we're in week eight of a mini series entitled Grace Based Success. And as I thought about it, you know, lately I've been thinking about this series. We're just a few weeks away from hitting the two year mark on the overall series of God's grace that is simply amazing. So almost for two years now, I've been teaching on God's grace, and I, I, I pray that it's been a blessing to you. Uh, for the last two years, as I've studied the grace of God, it has really changed me. It's changed my life. It's changed my ministry. It's changed the way that I look at God, the way that I look at myself, the way that I look at others, the way that I look at my, at my future. There's really nothing that has not been changed by God's grace and the reality of his grace in my life. The more I embrace his grace, the more I change. For the last few days, I've really been thinking about the old covenant versus the new covenant. I taught on this early in the series. When I started the series almost two years ago now, I taught about the old covenant versus the new covenant, and it was based on works versus based on grace. The Bible says the law came through Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. And the, the old covenant was focused on man and what man could do for God. It was man working for God. And the, the new covenant is based on God and, and is God working for man and what God does for man. And, and so I taught on all of that already, but really I was just thinking about the old covenant the last few days. I kept thinking about the law of Moses and how the law was never designed to make us right. It was just really designed to show us how wrong we are and that we are humans standing in the need of a savior. And that savior came, his name is Jesus, and he came to save the world of our sin. So this morning when I got up, I was still thinking about this. And so I was just thinking about old covenant, new covenant. I was thinking about works versus grace, how we could never be good enough and all that kind of stuff. And then, uh, and so there I was, I was taking a shower and then I realized, you know, I, I normally, while I'm getting up in the morning and meditating on whatever the Lord wants me to write, you know, for today's word for the, for the day. And um, here I was thinking about something I wrote two years ago, as far as this law versus grace and and all of this, and I was taking a shower, and I realized, and so I kind of forced myself. I said, and it's like I told God, no, I have to stop. I have to stop thinking about this. I have to stop thinking about the old covenant versus the new covenant, because the series I'm teaching right now is about success, not salvation. It's about success, not salvation. So it's like I was telling God, help me to stop thinking about salvation, and, and I need to start thinking about success. And as I kind of said that to God, I didn't say it out loud. I kind of said it internally. I heard these words, not, not an audible voice, but I kind of received these words in my spirit. This is what I heard while, uh, while I was taking a shower. The same rules apply. The title of today's message is the same rules apply. The same rules that applied for salvation actually apply for success. And when, I, when the Holy Spirit told me the same rules apply, that's, that's when I was like, oh, I got it. I got it. That's why I've been meditating on this. Romans 11 and 6 says, for, but it, if it is by grace, it is no longer on the basis of works. Otherwise, grace is no longer grace. And we know that. I've taught on that. It's obvious that you cannot earn salvation. It's by grace. And it's not by works because if it was by works, then it couldn't be by grace. If you do something on your own effort, on, with your own ability, by human works, then, you're not, then it's not grace. It's human effort. It's human works. It's not grace. But if it's by grace, then it is free, it is unearned, and it is unmerited. But the same rules apply. That's what the Holy Spirit was dealing with me about, that the same rules apply for salvation and success. We accept free and unearned for salvation, but it's like many of us don't want to accept free and unearned when it comes to success. So what does this mean to you today? I believe the Lord gave me seven things to share with you, so let's get into it. Number one. God did not expect you to earn your way to heaven based on human effort. He provided you eternal life through his son by his grace. In the same way, God does not expect you to earn your way to the accomplishment of his divine purpose for your life based on human effort alone. Just like salvation came to you by God's unearned and unmerited grace, earthly success is available to you the same way. The same rules apply. Number two, God offered you salvation by grace. Now, most Christians accept the fact that they can never earn their way to heaven and they accept the free gift of eternal life by God's unearned grace. However, many of those same Christians then turn around and attempt to earn earthly success in life based upon human effort alone by the sweat of their brow 
And this is simply not the will of God. Number three, the same God who offered you salvation or grace for salvation now offers you grace for success. He gave you grace to be saved and he will give you grace to succeed. Number four, just like God did not expect you to earn eternal life without him and he provided you salvation by grace, God does not expect you to attain success in life without him. God will work through you to experience success in this world by his unearned grace. Number five, if it's on the basis of grace, then it comes free and unearned. If it's on the basis of works, then it is human effort and not grace. You have received God's work, grace for salvation. Now open your heart to receive God's grace for earthly success. Number six, if you're born again and you're still breathing, then it's evident that your earthly assignment is not complete. God saved you by his grace, and if that's all he wanted, then you would be dead and in heaven. But since you're still here, it is obvious that God still wants to use you by that very same grace to accomplish what he birthed you into the earth to accomplish. You accepted God's grace for salvation. Now accept God's grace for earthly success. And this success is connected to your divine purpose, not your bank account, not what you drive, not where you live. This success is connected to your divine purpose. Number seven and finally, the same rules apply. Human effort was not good enough to make it heaven. And human effort would not be good enough to maximize your purpose and potential in the earth. Embrace God's grace for success. Allow him to flow through you and you will become the man, the woman that God has called and destined and designed and desires for you to be. Not because of your goodness, but only because of God's grace. Let's close this out with a confession of faith. Say, Father, I thank you for teaching me about your amazing grace. The good news of your grace is often so good that it almost sounds too good to be true. But I know it is true. You love me with an everlasting love. You sent your son Jesus to die for me before I did anything to earn or deserve his sacrifice. Jesus paid a debt I could never pay. You gave me eternal life completely by your unearned and unmerited grace. I did nothing to deserve it. All you required of me was to receive it by faith. I did that. I accepted Jesus as my Lord by faith. And I have been born again. Now that salvation has come to me by your grace, I am learning that earthly success is also available to me by your grace. If all you wanted me to do was make it to heaven, then I would be dead. But I am still here because I am not done. You have an assignment for me. And it is far greater than anything I could ever do on my own. And the good news is that you don't expect me to do it on my own. Just like I accepted your grace for salvation by faith, I accept your grace for success by faith. I submit and surrender to you. I embrace your grace to accomplish your will. I pursue earthly success by dying to self and living for you. And as you live through me, Father, you will accomplish what you birthed me to accomplish. And you will be glorified through my life and living. None of me and all of you. Here I am, Father. I surrender to you. You use me for your glory, by your grace, because of your love. I receive the grace for salvation. I now receive the grace for success. I declare this by faith. In Jesus' name, amen. This is today's word, apply it and prosper. If you're not getting these messages every day, go to todaysword.org and sign up and you will, and there'll be a blessing to you. You walk in the blessing. Have a blessed day. God bless you.